So Greg, I think you're taking our little battle too personally. It's all in fun. Talking about the dead. Really? Really? It's cool, it was still funny in a way. I'll let karma get you. I think I understand your anger and frustration, and I should take the high road and leave it alone. I shouldn't punch down. I should be like Barack Obama, and take the high road. I should take the high road. I should. I can't do it. It's not in my nature. So Greg, you talk about having a job, what is it that you do? I work for Fox Films in the post-production department. That is impressive. Are you a movie producer or a director of photography? No, I'm not. I don't understand. You said you work in the movies. What exactly do you do? I do logistics, escort actors to set, get them sandwiches if they ask. Excuse me, can you say that again? I do logistics, escort actors to set, get them sandwiches if they ask. I'm trying to understand this. Didn't you go to school for film? Yes, I studied cinematography at the American Film Institute, the number one film school in the world. Did you graduate? Yes, I did. And now you deliver sandwiches? Pretty much. Is this the job you brag about? Sandwiches to actors. Tell me, what does Mel Gibson like on his sandwich? Crisp lettuce, a little tomato, and mayo. I see, so well you must drive a cool car, you are in Hollywood. I drive a Toyota Prius. You drive a what? A Toyota Prius. It's kind to the planet. And you are talking about my watermelon cooler push cart? Are you kidding? So let me get this straight. You work at Fox Films in the production department, but you don't make movies, even though you went to film school to study movie making. Let's back up a bit, so I get a clear understanding. So you studied film, right? Yes, I studied film. Have you shot a film? Yes, I have. It's called Saxis Final Orbit. Oh, that's great. I was scared for a minute. Is it sci-fi? No, it's not. If it's not sci-fi, why is Sax in orbit? It's hard to explain. Greg, is this it? Is this your movie? Is this Sax Final Orbit? Yes, this is Sax Final Orbit. Okay. What is he doing? Why doesn't he do something? I do not understand. What are they doing? Is this a rumble? Are they going to fight? Is this like Fight Club? Did you get Brad Pitt to be in Saks Final Orbit? No, I didn't get Brad Pitt for Saks Final Orbit. Okay. And this is not science fiction. They are not in a spaceship, are they? No, they are not in a spaceship. Okay. Is it? Yes. No, really, that is it? Yes, that is all of Saks Final Orbit. Tell me you are lying. Tell me you have not placed your hopes, dreams, and aspirations on this film from 15 years ago. Tell me there is more. Tell me there is a sequel. Tell me Mel Gibson will be in the sequel. Tell me anything. No, that was Saks Final Orbit in its final version. I think you should rename it. You should call it Greg's Final Film, because that's what it is. Okay. Moving on. You brag about having a car. What kind of car do you drive? I drive a Toyota Prius. Is this a cool car? I think it's cool. It's kind to the planet. Can you pick up girls in it? No, not really. It's not for that. I think I know what Prius means. It's an engineering term. Fine. What does it mean? Prius. post repellent Industrial Universal Standard. Your Prius is the standard for repelling posse. Greg, there is only one conclusion that all this leads me to. You are queer. No really, I think you are fooling us all. You are queer. All the signs are there. You live in Hollywood, deliver sandwiches, and drive a Prius. You don't believe me? No, I'm straight as an arrow and about to be married. That doesn't mean anything, plenty of men are on the down low, and use marriage as a cover. 
Do I have to out you? Do I have to out you here? I don't know what you are talking about. Fine. Go to tape. Greg, do you remember this? We were playing football about 12 years ago. It was a great time. We were all young men. In our prime. But you got winded on the very first play. So we just gave you the camera to film us. You know, since you studied film at the American Film Institute. I remember. And what was the thing you captured on film? What was the one thing you captured? Football has been very, very good to me. Nice ass, Bruce. Huh? Nice ass, Bruce. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know the one single thing. The Football has been very, very good to me. Nice ass, Bruce. Huh? Nice ass, Bruce. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know what do you have to say? Nothing. Here is your chance. Say something. No matter what your orientation, always remember you'll always be my man, pots, and pans. Just not in the way you desire. So Greg, I'm going to let you go now. I know you have a job delivering sandwiches. Perhaps you should keep your sandwiches in the watermelon cooler pushcart, Mel Gibson likes his lettuce crisp remember. Perhaps I will. I find it ironic how in this animation, you resemble a gopher. And in your case your appearance matches your job description. Now go deliver your sandwiches like a good boy. Hey yo Teddy. Yo. I ran into that young lady Maria last night. What? Must have been her husband's payday. Man. But she brought me to see a brand new diamond link that she see me with on. See, you know what I'm saying? You know why? Why can't you? You know Greg. Greg. Damn it. Line. What's my damn line? Baby, I work. I work. I work. I work. Baby. The question at hand is how do I love thee? I count the ways but girls don't show me. One by one you can come and caress me. No really. Have you tasted the freaking watermelon from this cooler? No really. It is the coldest watermelon I have ever had. Wow. You are right. This is great.